Hello. Something on the TV show QI caught my attention last week. They were talking about a lady I'd never heard of called uh, Kathleen Drew Baker. So today I'm going to tell you about her, how important her work was, and uh, how she is remembered in Japan. You see, Kathleen Drew Baker was a, uh, a phycologist, not a psychologist, a phycologist. That means she studied an area of botany concerned with algae. That's the plants which grow in water. Specifically, she was um, interested in seaweed. A little history about her first. She was born in 1901 in England and she studied botany at Manchester University, uh, graduating in 1921. She continued to study seaweed at Berkeley College in California for two years and then she returned to Manchester to take up a research and lecturing post. In 1949, she published an article in the academic journal Nature about a, a kind of tiny algae known as um, Conchocellis, uh, which was actually a baby larva rather than an entirely separate species of algae, as had previously been thought. All fairly inconsequential so far, you might think, but not. You see, in Japan, seaweed, or nori, as the Japanese uh, call it, has been an important part of the diet for many, many years. Nori is harvested all along Japan's coastlines. But in the late 1940s, a series of crop failures devastated supply. And farmers and scientists didn't know what was causing the nori crops to not grow. Now, in her research paper, published in 1949, Dr. Drew Baker realised that in order to start growing, seaweed spores need to begin their life in old seashells, which was what her research paper in the Nature Journal was about. Scientists in Japan read her paper and realised that a lack of old shells had led to their lack of nori. Nori, sorry. So they used her discovery to develop uh, improved farming methods along the coastlines. And hence she had effectively saved the Japanese sushi seaweed, or nori, which I guess we most commonly think of and find wrapped around tuna in the popular sushi dish. Now the Japanese don't only use it to wrap around tuna, they add it to soups and other dishes. And the great thing about nori is that it is essentially free, nature's gift. And it is super healthy, packed full of protein, minerals, vitamins and fibre. A real superfood. In fact, nowadays over 350,000 tonnes of nori is harvested around the Japanese coastline every year. So, quickly returning to Dr Drew Baker and her research. The Japanese were so grateful for her research discovery that they named her the Mother of the Sea. And in the 1960s, a monument dedicated to her was built in the Sumiyoshi Shrine Park in Uto City. And on the 14th of April every year, the monument is decorated with flowers at the annual Drew Festival. Uh, unfortunately, she died in 1957 which was before she got to know about how her research had helped the Japanese to save their nori industry. So the next time you visit a, a sushi restaurant, you might want to say a little thank you to Dr. Kathleen Drew Baker. Thank you.